Hello viewers, 4DIYers here with another video for everyone. In this pretty good video here, I'll be showing you how to replace a fuel filter on a BMW 335D E90. A similar procedure may also apply to other 3 Series or diesel models as well. This is a 2010 model. A dirty fuel filter may cause a throttle hesitation, flat spots in your RPM range, poor performance, or a drop in fuel economy. I am currently partnered with Turner Motorsport. They are a reputable BMW supplier that has been present in the BMW community for a number of years. With every sale from their website using the link in the video description, I get a bit of cutback to help keep my channel going. Links to these parts used in the video will be included in the video description. First is elevating the vehicle up on ramps by the front. This will be a tight fit, especially if you have a lowered version. Remove the eight 8mm eight screws on the belly pan under the driver's side. You can kind of see the fuel filter through the holes in the belly pan. It's located towards the center of the car. Do not run the car on empty of diesel as this can cause damage to the fuel system. You can rotate the belly pan as there is a clip which holds it into place. Removing it completely is also another option but not necessary. Now the fuel filter is fully exposed. Have a container handy to catch any of the diesel fuel that may drain out of the filter when it's being disconnected. First is removing the 30mm bolt holding on the bracket. Next is using a T20 driver to remove the bracket from the filter. A socket or standard screwdriver can be used to remove the gear clamp on the hose. Use a standard screwdriver to remove the clip which holds on the fuel heater. The retaining bracket can finally be removed. It can be slid up to the line and then pulled off. Twist the filter and pull the front hose off. Once disconnected, use the cap from the new fuel filter to plug the port so we don't have excessive amounts of diesel draining. The rubber damper around the filter was installed from the old filter. It just slides into place. Use a standard screwdriver to help remove the heater. Mine was stuck in place. It did take quite a bit of force to remove it. Again, fuel will come out from this side too. I had the new fuel filter handy so I was able to install it right away without too much diesel draining. As mentioned earlier, Turner Motorsport has supplied me with the parts for the replacement. Be sure to use a link in the video description to help me get a bit of cutback from each sale to keep my channel going. Push the fuel filter into place on the back side. This filter goes on in one orientation. You may need to rotate while pushing it to help assist it into place. Make sure this seals in place on the filter. Now connect the front hose onto the front filter. Install the retaining clip at the fuel heater, align it with the holes, and then push it into place. Tighten the gear clamp at the front of the fuel filter. Now install the retaining bracket with the Torx driver. Try to position the rubber damper with the bracket in the same place as the mounting hole. Then tighten the Torx screw. Now install the other bracket with the 13mm bolt and tighten. Before putting the belly pan back into place, we must bleed the fuel system to ensure there is no leaks. Locate the OBD2 port by the kick panel on the driver's side. Remove the access hatch and plug in the code reader. For this I'm using my Foxwell NT530 scanner which has BMW specific programming to help bleed the fuel system for diesel. A link to this scanner will be included in the video description. Bleeding the system is highly recommended so you don't cause premature wear on any of the fuel system components. The key will need to be turned on for this without the engine running. We will need to go into the BMW feature on the scanner, then click on service. Next will be the powertrain. Digital diesel electronics. And finally, bleeding the fuel system. You'll have to agree to the various prompts and allow the system to run. You will hear the pump run. It will change tone as the air is being bled from the system. When done, you can then exit and remove the scanner. Start the engine and check for any leaks before installing the belly pan. Turn the engine off and then reinstall the belly pan. Rotate it back into place and ensure that pivot point is still properly clipped in. 
Then install the 8mm fasteners, starting them by hand first, and finish tightening them after. After that you're officially done, the car can then finally be removed from the ramps. New videos are released every week on my channel, be sure to hit that thumbs up button, it's a huge help to me, leave a comment below if you found this tutorial helpful. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to also hit that subscribe button. Thank you for watching.